Ben, Yuga Bar Station is, is 35,000 acres. We're located in northeastern New South Wales uh, on the Clarence River. I think one of the greatest features of Yuga Bar genetics is, is the constitution and doability of our cattle. Uh, they're bred in, in an eastern fall environment. We're exposed to parasites, weeds and a number of issues that really make production of cattle quite challenging at times. And so being able to produce cattle that thrive under those conditions uh, has over the years produced a, uh, that constitution that we, we're proud of in our, in our seed stock and our commercial cattle. I'm certainly focusing first and foremost on structural soundness in our cattle. If they're structurally correct, they have the foundation to breed and produce and put weight on. We, we look reproductively, we certainly focus on uh, reproductively sound cattle. We're, we're very, very focused on, on uh, udders and teats in our, in our females. Getting uh, that weight for age that our cattle are well known for and that's certainly one of the, the key performance traits that, that the Yugabar herd is well known for is that, is that weight for age and the ability to gain weight. We're focused on sourcing the best genetics that we can find globally for the Seneca Tritus breed and uh, we've gone to, to great lengths to source those cattle. The history and, um, and depth of breeding in the herd um, from, from the early days, but we've certainly focused on particularly pole genetics over the last, last 20 years that are at the forefront of, the, of genetics for Santa Gertrudis here in Australia. We're very proud of the genetics that Yugobar are now producing, and we think it's timely that we offer to the, the broader uh, industry that opportunity to source Yugobar genetics. So we're going to offer 700 um, mainly preg-tested and calf females on Thursday the 18th of February, and that'll be held at the Northern Rivers Livestock Exchange at Casino Sale Yard. Uh, of those 700, 400 of those will be by Yugobar Santa Gertrudis bulls and from Hereford females that we've sourced back from, from valued clients throughout the Northern Rivers. We believe they're an outstanding quality line of, of um, Santa Hereford cross females that we've in turn mated back to, to Santa Catrudis bulls, Yugobar Santa Catrudis bulls, and we're going to preg test them uh, about a week, 10 days down and out from the, from the sale. Additionally, there's 250 Sangus females that are bred here at the station. So they're out of uh, purebred Santa Catrudis Yugobar females. And then they've been uh, sired by top quality Angus bulls that we've sourced from some of the leading studs here in northeastern New South Wales. Uh, a number of those are um, Dolberton bulls, Glen Isa bulls, uh, some of some of the primetime bulls. Yes. We believe they're exceptional quality. A lot of a lot of performance in those females, and we think uh, a great line. They've got a great reputation for their milking ability, their doing ability, easy calving. So I think it, um, anyone that's looking for a Sangus with, with that just that little bit of cross in them, I think there's a golden opportunity for them. They've got the uh, the meat eating quality traits of uh, that Angus are renowned for, but but you have the performance traits of a Santa Catrudis, and they'll thrive and flourish where a, a lot of um, British breed or straight Angus cattle will, will do it tough. And additionally, there'll be uh, approximately 50 um, purebred commercial Santa Catrudis heifers uh, preg tested in calf as well. Yeah, look, everything that happens here at Yugabar is a team effort. Um, I'm privileged to lead a great group of people. We, we live here, it's our home, it's our life, it's, it's uh, what we love to do and, and it's reflected by the, by the commitment the team have to stockmanship. Everyone lives, loves and breathes Yugobar. It's just a, a unique property and we're all very proud of it and uh, I'm uh, very honoured to be able to have the opportunity to lead a great team of people.